All right, YouTube, quick and dirty video to save you guys time because I thought I would do what would be a 10 minute job and we're clocking maybe 40 because um, no worky worky. And those instructions, uh, I want to call them useless, but there's a very, very, very small detail in there that no one said that took me over a half hour to find. So I'm hoping to save at least one guy or girl out there um, the pain. So there you go. Here's the job. I've got a toddler who doesn't like his crib anymore. So how do we convert it? Should be simple, right? Take that off, add that on, voila. We got one, two. Two screws on each side. Two plus two is four, right? Boom. Out with the old, ah, in with the new. So, what's the problem? Well, we got two holes on the bottom, one hole on the top. The problem is when you put that hole there, yeah. So, do the instructions say that? No. The instructions say, hey, call this number, uh, unless it's on a Sunday, and then you're hosed. Uh, what the instructions tell you is that you need, um, they, they, they give you one clue, which is not even a clue at all. It says right here, conversion rail must be used when converted to a toddler bed. Conversion rail. I don't see a conversion rail. Okay. I need to see, I got that, I got that, I got those. Here's what they really mean. So check it out, in crib mode, look at that little pretty detail, right? See how it's all lined up? Nice and pretty, yeah? In the picture, ah, not nice and pretty. That's the secret. So, if you go over here, you can see that there are two screws to line it up. What you gotta do, you gotta take them out, pull the bed apart, and now move it to those two screws. Once you do that, you're good to go. Cost me a half hour, hopefully um, it saved it someone else. All right, good luck out there.